Oh, Cousin Matthew. May I come in? Please. No, no, no. No, stay where you are. No doubt you will regard this as rather unorthodox, my pushing into a man's bedroom uninvited. Well, um... It's just I don't want us to be disturbed. I'm sure you know how pleased I am that you will recover after all. Thank you. Just as I am delighted that you can once more look forward to a... to a happy married life. I'm very lucky. Now, this may come as a surprise, but I feel I must say it all the same. Please do. Mary is still in love with you. What? I was watching her the other night when you spoke of your wedding. She looked like Juliet on awakening in the tomb. Mary and I have always... Of course, I'd suspected long ago that the flame hadn't quite gone out. But then there was no chance of your recovery. And it seemed best to let her try for happiness where she could. I, I quite agree, and, and Sir Richard is... No, no, let's not muddy the pool by discussing Sir Richard. The point is, you loved her once. You sure you can't love her again? Cousin Violet, I... Please don't think I mind your... speaking to me in this way. I, I quite admire it, but... Consider this. I, Lavinia came back against my orders, determined to look after me for the rest of my life, which meant that she would wash me and feed me and do things that only the most dedicated nurse would undertake, and all with no hope of children or any improvement. Yes, yes, it's all very admirable. And I give her full credit. And giving her that credit, do you think it would be right for me to throw her over because I can walk? to dismiss her because I no longer have need of her services. It's spoken like a man of honour. And we will not fall out over this. But you don't agree. I would just say one thing. Marriage is a long business. There's no getting out of it for our kind of people. I mean, you may live 40... 50 years with one of these two women. Just make sure you have selected the right one. <laughs> <laughs>